party and is punishable by capital punishment. the hot workshop used for? Heat-resistant polymers are made here, but most of the research is dedicated to the cultivation of heat-resistant flora. Nice. The polymers here are enriched with essential oils from Cacticae cereris, a cactus. The polymers make it possible to cultivate groups of plants that are adapted to high temperatures. Do they want to make the desert greener or something? Something like that. They plan to terraform Mars. <clears throat> The canisters fill automatically once the temperature is normalized. Everything here seems pretty cut and dry. We should head back before something fucked up happens. What do we know about Petrov's girlfriend, Charles? Are you referring to Dr. Filatova? That's what I said. Did the cat get your tongue? Do you know her? Dr. Larissa Filatova, MD, has worked with Dr. Sechenov for many years. He entrusted her with one of the most crucial aspects of Collective 2.0, with good reason. She replaced the late Chariton Zaharov in that role. Who's Zaharov? A tenured professor of medical science, an esteemed neurosurgeon, and one of the scientists who vanquished the Brown Plague, Charitim Radionovich Zaharov, was also Dr. Sechenov's closest friend and trusted colleague. They laid the foundation for Facility 3826 together. Great, whatever. So what about Filatova? She's a talented neurosurgeon and was Comrade Zaharov's student and assistant. She continued the professor's work after he died. But she is now a criminal and a traitor to the motherland. Understood. It's too bad. She's kind of cute. Saving data. What's this crap? That is a sprout. What's a sprout? Sprouts were designed as highly efficient feed for large livestock. But there's something wrong with this sprout. A killer chicken. Now I've seen it all. Attracting their attention is not advised. Too late. took your sweet time, didn't you? No, I'm not the rescue team. More like a vanguard. Well, I'll be damned. 
Plenty of time has passed, but there's still no alarm. No army coming to the rescue. Did you see how all this got started? Can you tell me about it? I don't want to, but I certainly can. The machines didn't attack right away. They sort of spread throughout the facility at first, so they could attack all at once. I suspected something was off the moment the lab tech robots all went into our offices and positioned themselves behind people's backs. Most of my colleagues died right at their workstations. What scared me most wasn't the killing, but the way they slowly walked towards the humans. It was kind of like gym class, when they tell you to split up into pairs. How long ago did you die? I don't remember, but I stayed alive longer than most. The machines couldn't get to where I was, since there was no way in. There was shooting, and then hoses started coming out of everywhere. Most people died in the first couple of seconds. Very quickly. The robots either smashed their heads in or snapped their necks. Like popping the caps off soda bottles. We took to our heels, but then a lab tech grabbed comrade Afanasiev. There was a soldier around who tried to stop them, but he just had time to say, Oh, that's where I sort of stopped being scared and charged the robot. The last thing I remember is being dead. Um, I'm sorry. We're gonna take those motherfuckers down. You can't blame the machines. Humans did this. Doesn't look like an accident to me. It'd take months to plan something like this. Okay. They'll send someone for you once this is all over. Frankly, it won't make much difference to me. Better make sure this contagion or whatever's wrong with the robots doesn't spread to the other complexes. Oof, cold. What's with this place? Its purpose is to study how living things can survive in a vacuum. So it's for planting crops on the moon and stuff? Among other things, yes. The research conducted here applies to a wide range of subjects, from primitive single-celled plant life to livestock and other animals. That's some neat fish you've got in that aquarium.
Ugh, what a goddamn clusterfuck. mistook you for the head of this laboratory. Reminder, it is time for you to take your blood pressure medication. Playing an excerpt from an automated recording of your last work shift. Oh. Yes, it's much better. Opera is... Crap, this thing's locked too. What is it this time? You are leaving the laboratory. Before opening the door, please complete your experiment and save any data you have collected. It's spinning. That should do the trick. Uh, yes. At first, it was extremely difficult for me not to pay any attention to this circle of life, as they call it. Hope I didn't get anything then mixed I up. There's something of an art form to it. A circle of life, indeed. Why did they even have to invent a name like that? Superiors think that propaganda increases productivity. <laughs> so to them, their employees are nothing but mindless swine, like these animals. Well, this isn't killing, it's just maintaining the circle of life. You know what, Oliver? Even if we're just swine, who gave us the right to mistreat the other swine, right? I'm awfully sorry for you. I truly am. God knows it's true. You died. I'm even thinking about building you a memorial. I promise I will. Sometimes I think that when put to classical music, the convulsions themselves become a kind of dance of death. After all, new pigs keep being born, and yet the same pig keeps on dying. And it can't be right. I should ask to be transferred to another department. If only temporarily. No. Keep your claws off that. Not this recording. Oh, okay. I'll switch it off. Kill all of them. It's standard to the manufacturing process. It's where the polymer's organic components come from. Where'd they all go then? To the algae workshop. To undergo polymeric synthesis. I don't even want to know. planners in one place before. This is where they grow the plants that will be used to terraform the moon, Mars, and Venus. But right now it's not working for shit. We need to find the control panel.
Comrade Babylon. The graduate students have come up with a new pastime. They're playing tic-tac-toe on the music. One of them plants corn, and the other plants tomatoes. And they go back and forth like that. I was going to shoot them out, but then I realized it's actually a decent little game. It's like a whole new kind of chess. What do you think about opening an agricultural gaming club? but dead bodies. There's a power activation laser relay on the wall. Okay, I can deal with that. But I will never get used to this shit. Access granted. Please select the desired procedure. How do I fill the canister? The canister fills with cryopolymer automatically. You just need to wait. That sounds a little too easy. Looks like we've got company. I knew there was no way we could just wait patiently for this thing.
matter with it? What am I supposed to do? The canister will only be filled if an optimal low temperature is maintained in the workshop. The fans blow cold air into the room. They need to stay on and don't let the sprouts fly into the spinning fan blades. Why the fuck didn't you tell me that before? Shit, the fan turned off. Try using shock to restart it. God.
malfunction. Normal operation suspended. Fix the malfunction to resume normal shop operation.
don't say. Finally. Let's get the hell out of here. I sure love these goddamn canisters of yours. You guys never get sick of shoving them into things. Well, it's a tradition. Yeah, well, maybe you should think about reevaluating your traditions. If I see one more canister.